internet and television are common communication media these days. We hop through scores of TV channels to bring the world into our home. We surf all over the world via the internet. We email, chat, download programs and play online games. At home or at the office, during the day or night, we can be reached anywhere, anytime in this digital age. Even when we travel. There's no end in sight for the digital highway, thanks to dozens of satellites that circle the globe. They keep this highway traffic going, with satellite receivers and TV towers, with glass fiber connections and wireless networks, and GSM radio masts and wireless access points. It appears as if the digital world has no bounds, until we board a plane. As soon as we board a plane as passengers, our digital connections are abruptly disconnected. Contact with the outside world stops until we've landed. Why is that? Is it not possible to have satellite reception and wireless communications high up in the air? Internet and telephony in an aeroplane are possible at the moment, using Inmarsat's L-band satellite network. However, we need more capacity and efficient broadcasting for live TV, video and broadband internet. We can achieve this using an additional KU-band satellite network but that requires a bulky satellite dish to be placed on the aeroplane with a protective radome and that causes more air resistance and higher fuel consumption. There's something else. A geostationary satellite has a fixed position in relation to the Earth. So a satellite dish on the plane would have to keep turning in the direction of the satellite. That's a mechanical movement, sensitive to vibrations and disturbances but it can be unreliable. So, no live television and broadband internet for passengers? Or should we use satellite dishes anyway, with all the limitations? Here at NLR, the National Aerospace Laboratory of the Netherlands, we're developing an ingenious multi-frequency flat antenna in cooperation with the University of Twente. How does it work? Okay. What do you need if you want to receive a satellite on board an aircraft? You need an antenna system. And of course, you could use a reflector antenna like you have at home, satellite dish. The disadvantage of satellite dish is that it has to be steered mechanically and also uh, that it causes some aerodynamic drag. So it's not very suitable to be used on an aircraft. Therefore, we have developed an antenna system which is flat, which can be mounted on the aircraft and which is electronically steerable. Today we will show you a demonstration setup of this antenna system uh, together with uh, a kind of satellite. What we have here on this side is a simulation of the satellite. We have a generator, a transmitter with a small antenna which actually represents the satellite. The satellite signal is transmitted towards the Earth toward the aircraft and if you go to this side then you see here the antenna which is being mounted on the aircraft. On the aircraft we have an antenna which is very flat and which is electronically steerable. The antenna has a specific beam and the beam points towards the satellite. If the satellite is just in front of the antenna then all antenna elements receive the satellite signal with the same phase. If the satellite is in another position, the beam has to be directed towards the satellite. In that case, the wave from the satellite arrives at each antenna element in a different time. So what we actually have to do is try to delay the contributions of each antenna element so that we can sum up the contributions of each antenna element coherently. That's why we need the optical beam forming network. To 
demonstrate the function of this antenna, we can show you that when uh, the true time delays are all set to the same delay, so all contributions to the antenna elements are the same. If we rotate the antenna, then the signal that's being received will decrease. The signal of the satellite is displayed on the monitor and if we rotate the antenna we can see that the antenna signal decreases and if we direct the antenna again towards the satellite the signal increases again. With the help of the optical beam forming network we can track the satellite during flight. We can compute the offset angle of the antenna and the required delay settings to steer the beam. Now, when we rotate the antenna once again, the received signal remains constant. The advantages of online broadband connections on board are unprecedented. The pilot sees a current detailed weather forecast on his display. The business traveler can use video conferencing to discuss an important meeting in advance. And the passenger in the tourist class can inform his home about the course of the flight while chatting. Online broadband communication and live television on board. Soon to be the most normal thing in the world.